I'd like to show you a couple applications of the dot product. So here I have two vectors. V is 2i plus 5j, and w is i minus 3j. First, let's just compute the dot product, make sure we all know how to do that. To do the dot product, you look first at the two first components. We have 2 and 1, so you multiply 2 times 1. You look at the two second components. The second component of v is 5. The second component of w is negative 3. So I'm going to do 5 times negative 3. And then you just add those two numbers up. So we should have 2 plus a negative 15. That should be negative 13. All right, finding the dot product, fairly straightforward. Now let's see how we can use the dot product to compute the angle between v and w. Now, first of all, I know right away that these two vectors, v and w, are not orthogonal. They're not perpendicular. Because if they were perpendicular, if it were orthogonal, then the dot product would be zero. So it's going to be some angle other than 90 degrees. Which angle is it? Well, I know that cosine of the angle between them will be v dot w divided by the length of v, or the magnitude of v, times the magnitude of w. So I need to compute these three values. I already have v dot w, so now I just need to find the magnitude of v and the magnitude of w. Remember, the magnitude of a vector v is equal to the square root of the first component squared, so that would be 4 in this case, plus the second component squared, that would be 25 in this case. So this gives us the square root of 29. The magnitude of w, okay, this is the square root of the squares of the two components. So 1 squared, that's 1. Negative 3 squared is 9. So this becomes the square root of 10. All right, so for these particular vectors, I have that cosine of the angle between the two vectors is equal to negative 13 divided by the square root of 29 times the square root of 10. Okay, well, that's what cosine of the angle is, but remember, I'm looking for the angle between them, so I want to know what, cos what not cosine of theta is, but what theta is. Well, this will be cosine inverse of that number there, negative 13 divided by, and I can combine these square roots into just a single square root of 290. All right, and if I go ahead and plug that into my calculator, I get this is approximately equal to 140 degrees. All right, so the angles are, uh, the angle between the two vectors is 140 degrees. Very well. All right. How about another application? Let's decompose the vector v into vectors v1 and v2, with v1 in the direction of w, that is parallel to w, and v2 orthogonal to w, in other words, perpendicular to w. To do this, we need to remember a formula, and that formula is the formula for v1. v1 will be equal to v dot w divided by w dot w, or you could write the magnitude of w squared there, times the vector w. Okay, well let's compute that in this case. v1 will be equal to, see we already have v dot w, that's negative 13. w dot w is the magnitude of w squared, so it'll be the square root of 10 squared, so that'll be 10. And this is then times the vector w i minus 3j. Okay, and if we actually do that out, we get, let's see, negative 13 over 10 is negative 1.3, so that times i would have negative 1.3i, and negative 1.3 times negative 3 would be positive 3.9j. Okay, there's the v1. To find v2, we just remember that v2 is always v minus v1, which we just found. So if we do that, we get v2 is equal to, well, v minus 
V1. So that's 2 minus a negative 1.3. So that is 3.3 I. And let's see, 5 minus 3.9. 5 minus 3.9, I would have plus 1.1 J. All right, so there's my V1 and there's my V2. V1 will be in the direction of W, since it's a scalar, the scalar here times W, and V2 should be orthogonal to W by the way we set this up. You know what, just for fun, let's just check that V2 really is orthogonal to W. To do that, let's just compute V2 dot W. We should get zero. V2 dot W is 3.3 times 1, so that's 3.3, plus 1.1 times negative 3, that would be negative 3.3, and we add that up, yep, we really get 0. So, check mark, V2 really is orthogonal to W. Just a quick check to make sure we didn't make any mistakes. All right, so we've decomposed a vector into a vector parallel to W and a vector orthogonal to W. We've seen how to find the angle between two vectors, V and W. This is all because we know how to compute the dot product of two vectors, V and W. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I hope this has helped.